Yes, honey. Halle, Halle Berry who? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Alana and I do weekly beauty videos. So if you're new here, consider hitting that little subscribe button so you guys don't miss any more of my videos. Today's video is going to be on a very affordable unit that is human hair, not synthetic, human hair. It is a stock wig that you can get on like Sam's Beauty or Ebony Online, stuff like that, but it is a bomb wig. The wig that we are going to review today and test out and kind of customize is right here I have been dying for a wig that looks like this I actually would love to do it to my own natural hair but I do not have the guts to do it so it is a premium doobie hair um, it's 100% human hair it's from Otre it's in the style soft pixie and it is in a 613 color now this color to me is a very very yellow and I would want it way more ashy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hop off camera and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply some purple shampoo to this thing and I hope that it takes and then when we come back we're going to style her, cut her, install her, figure out what we're going to do with this dark lace. But I mean for the most part her cap looks pretty nicely constructed. Um, you've got your lace space here. I mean you only have one option in regards to your part but that's okay because I feel like I wouldn't do too much with this. She does come in a couple of other colors as well, your typical like 1B, um, 2s, whatnot. And there's a honey, a ginger, a caramel, and a wine color. I will put all the information about the unit in the description box below. So if you're interested in seeing how I customize this cheap old wig to look fly, then keep on watching because it's coming right up. guys let's go ahead and jump right into it as I mentioned before and as you can see in this footage this unit it's a 613 unit but it is so damn yellow like it's really yellow so I just went ahead and I took some shimmer lights shampoo the purple shampoo and I'm just giving it like a real good rub down to take out any of that brassiness before I go ahead and style her All right guys, now when it comes to styling, I will be completely freaking honest with you guys. I have never styled a short wig like this ever. I have never styled a pixie cut in general at all. So I honestly had no idea what I was even doing. I just went in and kind of blow dried it with my hand and did made it look and <laughs> did what I thought would make it look as best as it could. Um, if you guys know any like videos to suggest, Pop them in my uh, comment section on how to style this kind of hair because I'm by no means a pro at it. So I just kind of did whatever I thought was the best option um, to style her. Alright guys, now she's all dry and looking like I put my finger in a socket or something because it's not styled good at all. But I mean, I am loving the color that it turned out. It took exactly the color that I wanted it to. It went this like really nice ashy color and then took out all that really nasty yellow blonde that was in there. It was honestly atrocious. And of course, as usual, I went ahead and removed that lace with my zigzag scissors. You guys know I love to use these um, because they actually help the lace lay a little bit flatter on your head and it just gives it a better illusion so it kind of camouflages the lace. So I went ahead and I used those to remove the lace and then popped her back onto my head um, to see how she was fitting and to see what I was working with um, so I could go ahead and begin styling her.
So as I was styling her, I ran into like a couple of issues here that the like the ear tabs were kind of not sitting well on my like the shape the shape of my face. So I went ahead and I cut some little slits over, just over the ear so that the little sideburns would come down a little bit, and I removed just a little bit of the sideburn um, so that it could fit nice and snug around my ear. Now I was pretty much almost happy exactly with how it was, but just needed a little bit of concealer on that lace to make it blend a little bit better with my skin. And then when we come back, I will give you my final thoughts on the unit. All right, y'all, so this is the final look of the unit. Honestly, for the most part, she lays nice and flat. Like, at least it's nice and flat. Um, and it looks like the back part of it looks pretty dope. Like, it lays nice and flat. I'm just like, the lace, I am so over, like, these, like, Otre and all the, like, synthetic brands, your generic brands, making lace wigs so dark. Like, it's great if you have a deeper complexion. You have no problem ever blending any of these units but for someone like me it takes a lot of a lot of time to customize them which is honestly for the price that they are not really worth it however finding a pixie cut like this um, in a lace unit is like next to impossible other than buying something like an Otre unit or sensational or whatever something on sam's beauty um, but I do like it. I mean, I'm glad that I went ahead and I did the toning to it because if I didn't tone this thing, that yellowness was just not, not a vibe. Okay. But I mean, I like it. I honestly, I will probably, I will rock her. I mean, she's not a terrible, terrible unit. I wish just the sideburns here were a little bit more flat which actually give me a second hold hold up i'm gonna take this i'm gonna take this and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and lay this front part of the unit here to be a little bit more flat Like if it laid flat like this, mm, it would be everything. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and then I'm actually gonna come back. Cause I have a feeling, I have a feeling this might save the whole joint, okay? Because the unit's not bad, so I'll be back. All right y'all, I'm back. And it's laying a lot better. So this is a lifesaver and I probably will end up doing the whole like tie down thing um, I like tie up my hair every now and then when I put this on just to make sure that it lays super duper flat But I will say this when it comes to the quality of the hair the hair is really pretty decent for a like cheap You know kind of grab-and-go kind of unit. Um, the human hair quality is pretty good I mean, it's not obviously like bundles that you'd receive or like a normal frontal like an HD frontal or anything but I mean it gets the pass. Um, it definitely gives you the style. I I actually really like it. I don't mind this look at all. It's something that I would rock. Um, I don't think that any of the other colors really entice me to repurchase this unit. But in regards to having it this color, the 613, you have to, have to, have to, have to tone it. If you don't tone this thing, you are going to look crazy. Like, absolutely crazy. It's so yellow. I feel like on camera did it absolutely no justice of how yellow it was. And I feel like camera right now doesn't do any justice, any justice, ooh, any justice of how like silver it is right now and how ashy it is now. Um, but it's definitely 
cute it's a vibe so hopefully you guys like the video if you do purchase this wig as always make sure you tag me in your photos on instagram at i love alana j and if you haven't already now will be the time to give the video a big thumbs up as well as hit that little subscribe button right there so you guys don't miss any more videos and you can see me in the next one bye guys